Peace. So I'm just here at the Atlanta School for Gifted Youngsters. I'm gonna show y'all this. I'm working on my wildlife pond in the backyard. Give you a closer view. This is my chocolate mint right here. Let me show you this. Oh. But yeah, today's mathematics is understanding cipher, which is three and zero. And I wanted to give you a brief overview of that and a practical example of how to apply it to your everyday life. Understanding is not just comprehension. Understanding is also seeing things for what they are, not what they appear to be, what we hope for them to be, wish for them to be, believe for them to be, want them to be. Understanding is having a clear mental picture. And in order to have that clear mental picture, understanding is a composite of knowledge and wisdom, meaning you have to have knowledge and wisdom in order to even gain an understanding. How? Well, how can you see something for what it is and get a clear mental picture if you don't have knowledge or you're not aware, you're not conscious, or you're not wise, meaning you're not discerning? So those two fundamental components are necessary in order to gain an understanding one of the things that we oftentimes say is you can't give nobody no understanding and the reason you can't give somebody an understanding is because it's their eyes it's their mind it's them seeing things for what they are not what they appear to be and you can't force that on anybody so in terms of a person's knowledge and wisdom that may take them some time in order to develop those particular components in order to get it or see the picture for what it actually is so you can't give nobody no understanding you can work on providing them with some knowledge give them access to some discernment or wisdom but they have to put the picture together for themselves so when you're looking at understanding cipher cipher is any person place or thing it's also 360 degrees so it's dealing with the totality of that person place or thing which means if you're striving to get an understanding of a person place or thing then you have to be circumspect you have to be able to see things entirely for what it is not what it appears to be and that may be challenging because some of our likes and dislikes our prejudices maybe our past experiences may impede our ability to do that so here are three different things that I always consider when it comes to me striving to get an understanding and if I'm striving to encourage somebody to get an understanding. It's aptitude, attitude, and altitude. Aptitude is a person's natural ability. So if you're striving to grasp something, you have to assess whether or not you have a natural ability to even grasp it. Some people do, some people don't. Same thing if you're striving to encourage somebody to get an understanding of a person, place, or thing. You gotta assess their aptitude. If they have a natural ability to grasp it, then you know where to take them from there. If they don't, then that means you need to work on developing more knowledge and wisdom in order for them to get to the point of gaining an understanding. Same thing with yourself. If you engage a person, place, or thing, and you see that you're having challenges in terms of grasping that person, place, or thing, or getting an understanding, then you know you need to work on your aptitude. You have to work on your ability to do that, which means you have to emphasize more knowledge and wisdom. The second thing is attitude. A lot of times people have challenges, whether it's you or somebody on the outside, getting an understanding because their attitude is messed up. Think about a person wanting to learn something and they just don't have the proper attitude of a student. They're not humble. They come in with their glass all full. They're not receptive to nothing. They're not studious. They're not following up. They're not checking their work. All of these things represent a poor attitude when it comes to being a student and what's required to even learn anything in life. So that's something that you have to assess about yourself and in another person that's striving to get an understanding. Do they have the proper attitude in order to get that understanding? And then the third thing is altitude. Altitude is elevation. And that is essentially what understanding is. It's being able to see things from a bird's eye view. Especially when you're talking about a cipher which is 360 degrees. In order to be circumspect, you're going to have to be able to rise above whatever that person, place, or thing actually is. So aptitude and attitude and altitude are three of the fundamental things that are important when it comes to just striving to gain an understanding for yourself or if you're striving to encourage somebody that's striving to gain an understanding. You got to make sure that they have some ability. 
you got to make sure that they got the right attitude and then you also got to make sure that the underlying and intention of why they're striving to get that understanding is to elevate their mind elevate their consciousness so I will this was inspiring it was empowering it was educational I just gave those of you a very broad overview and a practical example of gaining an understanding you got to make sure you got knowledge and wisdom and also have the right aptitude attitude and altitude peace <laughs>